Hello, hello, everybody from all four directions. Leaders, tribal leaders, journalists, water protectors, press, people from all around the world, people in solidarity, community members, tribal members. This is an update from, wow, well, a little bit out of Osheti heading on 1806. A little update about today. We're right now getting to the police barricade. It's no longer a BIA barricade. It is a police barricade. Jurisdiction from North Dakota High Patrol. Keep going, keep going, on, keep going. It's raining out. So today has been uh let me say Pijan Numa Yarwa Naninishtahai Numaga. Blessing all our relatives in the four directions. Naninishtahai Dapo, no Dapo, Naninishtahai Morton County. Tsunami, Morton County, Pa, Bijapa, their water. Mogoi, the Nishtahai, Mogoi, Morton County, Spirit, sending sending blessings to their spirit. The Nishtahai, Nimaga, Morton County, Nimaga, all their family, blessing their families that, sending blessings to all their relatives in the four directions. Today's update the Nishtahai, Army Corps of Engineers, Ba, Numaga, sending blessings to their water and their families and their homes. Nanishtahai, all our relations in the four directions. Today's been a very unique, one of a kind days that I've ever had in my whole lifetime. And witnessing the response to the Army Corps of Engineers and the No Dapple Governor's policy analyst he did not give us the answers we were looking for nor did he answer any of the questions that we asked him one of the things that we do know is they're going to do felonies he didn't he uh, the, the questions were pretty direct today if you look at the live feed journalists also are going to be arrested if they're not in a safety zone that they Morton County designate There's this zone is not going to give any of the journalists a line of sight of what their violations that they're going to be committing. So we need all of the journalists from around the country and the world to pay attention to when we start doing social media. Pay attention to what's going to happen with Morton County. In the, in the past, there have been no accountability for their cell phone blocking technology that's been used at the North Camp when there was, at one point, no live feeds at all. So we know that's directional. So one of the things that we need you to do is pay attention to the live feeds, digital smoke signals, indigenous women's media, and Ed Ed Higgins is gonna be down on the ground. Um, who else is down on the ground? Several other people that are uh, do live streams. We're gonna make sure that we have a connection where you guys can watch. If one goes down, another one's up. Right now, history tells us that it's not going to be, it's, it's repeating itself what's happening over at the Oshetsi camp. The mud was ridiculous today. I got stuck all the way up to my lights and the tractor had to pull me out. Many other people got stuck and people are trying to clean and bring out their all their gear and, they, and they're getting stuck trying to do it and they can't do it. So this is an unrealistic timeline again to, to leave the camp and it's a uh, it's raining right now, which made it even worse before we left. And this is what we're witnessing here. So tomorrow is a preparation day, two o'clock, February 22nd, two o'clock, 22 p.m. is their time. They want everybody out. We're gonna continue to document them as best we possibly can. We need you to pay attention and pass our information as much as possible 
and they share with the world what's going to happen tomorrow. It's going to be another historical moment in indigenous resistance as well as worldwide resistance as well as all four directions with all nations here in resistance and protecting the water. So it's not just an indigenous issue here. Again, I remind you guys, it's a human issue. And uh, I got I got a photographer with me, Greg. What do you what do you think today, Greg? And and uh, I got a editor in the back. She's got headphones on, but she's editing. What what are your thoughts today? Uh, it's pretty overwhelming. Um, yeah, just the timeline, like you said, is unrealistic. Um, and even yesterday, the Army Corps didn't even come in, right? Because it was too too wet. Yeah. Um, so if they can't even clean up, you know how to expect such a large camp to be able to clean up so quickly. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of unknowns about what's going to happen tomorrow. So, What do you think, Tina, you know, in witnessing today, um, what's going on at the camp tomorrow? Um, the energy was really intense around, uh, around everyone. And um, I just think, I think this was a blessing from the gods that the rain came. Everyone around camp was singing and screaming to the thunder thunderbirds is that what they were calling thunder them? beings the thunder what thunder beings the thunder beings and there was lightning coming across the sky oh there it is uh it's beautiful and yeah if they couldn't get in today i mean we got stuck what three times today yeah we got stuck hardcore i that's the thing that i'm really curious about is how it's going to be a really messy uh an ambush in a way um, I'm just, I'm, I don't know, just like with all the, all the vehicles that we've been seeing, all the stuff at Fort Rice, all, all the, all the high, um, all the stuff that people are saying that are at, as at the casino, all those cases that are being carried in. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, a li- I'm personally a little nervous for everyone that's on land, but they did say in the press conference or non-press conference today that Johnny asked specifically for no violence, for no force, and everyone is not going to be wearing any riot gear, we're not going to be wearing masks, we're not going to be covering our faces, and everyone is going to be sitting peacefully in prayer tomorrow, so. There we go. Uh, I don't even remember where my train of thought was, but... um, Share, you know, one of the things is, is, is people need to share, right? Share as much as they can in the yes. next few days. The next, today, they need to share, and tomorrow they need to share. Yep. As many live streams as you possibly can. It's And, and we're going to be trying to, our live streams tend to get really jacked up um, whenever, with all the stuff that they're putting into the air, so ideally we're going to be trying to... Okay. There we go, we're back. Oh, wow, who's that? Dean? All right, we're back on. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're back live. We're going to go dead again over here. We're getting close to a spot where we're oh, going to yeah. we're gonna walk in and, you Sorry, know. the one other thing, the call. Call the Army Corps of Engineers. Yes. Call them right now. I put the phone, We put the phone number up on the Digital um, Smoke Signals website. Um, right, it's 701-378-2200. It's actually the governor's office, too. You can call them. Thank you, Connie, for posting that. Um, but really call the Army Corps of Engineers, leave messages. People have been telling me today that they've been leaving messages. Tell them how op- oppressive and unjust this is and how we need to change the history and the narrative. And yes, please share everything. As soon as we go live, share it. And have your friends share it. Call people. Tell them to share it. Because a lot of the times things get taken down too, which is yes, another thing. Yes, which was today, you know, when they turned away, uh, they turned, they turned away uh, U-Hauls. And a church U-Haul at that, they turned away a church U-Haul. So these are these are the craziness things that we're starting to witness here that, you know, send out as much as you can. Call the Army Corps of Engineers, call the governor's office, and um, let them know this is unlawful, what's going on. Tomorrow, also the journalists from around the country, you need, this is, this is a wake-up call for all journalists around the country, is that the violation, the first violation, the First Amendment violation is being violated as it was in many of the other actions. They're targeting journalists, is what we're seeing here. This it's, is not a mistake on what's happening. And one of the guys was telling me, Fox News, they were banned. They were banned. And, I, and I'm thinking to myself, why were they banned? Is because the integrity is gone with those guys. But they were there around, and I seen some other people who don't know, giving them hugs, and they didn't know who they were, and then they found out who they were. They don't report accurately, 
but I'm, I'm kind of glad they came because CNN didn't come. ABC, NBC, they came, uh, ABC came, uh, NBC came another day. So I was thinking it's important that everybody be there, even the crazy news is there. But he told me that Morton, that they got a call up on the hill. So Jenny Monet was one of the native um, journalists that got arrested. And he told me that he got a call to get off the There's a garage and then there's a bunch over there on the left. All right, guys. Thank you for sharing, uh, watching and share as much as you possibly can. Thank you. We'll be in touch again. We'll give another update, as many updates as we possibly can. We need your help. We need you to share as much as what's happening here. Thank you. To all our relations in the four directions, sending blessings.